Hi guys, it's ASBYT and welcome back to a brand new video. Now today is quite exciting because we potentially, for the first time in a long time, very excited. We've got a chipset, also known as a SOC or an SOC or a system on chip, that claims to be better than the current best Snapdragon chipset, the 845. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Today, I bring you maybe the world's most powerful and intelligent mobile AI chipset, the Kirin 980. So without further ado, let's see why it's meant to be better. Let's get straight to it. Hi guys, just before we start, going away again tomorrow, this time on holiday, not work, and I'm taking these with me because these claim to be a great fully wireless pair of earphones. So I will be testing those on the journey and I'll be letting you know how I got on with it. Just one more quick thing. If you follow me on Twitter, you will have seen me post about a fantastic tech sale that is running at this moment in time. It's got smartphones, laptops, tablets, smartwatches, pretty much every single tech that you can think of. It's running some amazing deals, including like the OnePlus 6 for like 360 quid. I will leave a link to the website in the video description below if you are interested in going through and checking it out. You don't have to buy anything, but what's the harm in window shopping? Hey, you may pick yourself up a bargain. Bargain. Don't know why my voice does that, to be honest. Anyway, it is in the video description below if you want to check it out. But back to the two chipsets of the day, the Snapdragon 845 versus the brand new Kirin 980, which has just been launched by Huawei. And we are first one to introduce the dual AI process inside. They did a keynote speech. We have the latest generation GPU and the fastest 4G LT modem inside and fastest Wi-Fi connection and also fastest DRAM support. And most of the talk was around the fact that apparently they have tested it against the Snapdragon 845 and it has come up better on those tests for certain key areas. So the CPU is a 2x Cortex-A76 at 2.6 gigahertz, 2x Cortex-A76 at 1.92 gigahertz, and 4x Cortex-A55 at 1.8 gigahertz. This chipset will make the 5G solution available. But the key thing to take out of this is that the Snapdragon 845 is using the A75 Cortex, whereas the 980 is using the A76. So you know, see the most powerful ARM Cortex A76 based CPU. The Cortex A76 over the A75 is meant to give 37% performance improvement and 32% higher power efficiency as well. So of course, when in the keynote speech, Huawei came out with these individual figures showing that the 980 had outperformed the 845 Snapdragon, it did kind of back this up. Obviously, these are statistics that have been tested and invented by Huawei until the general public's had a chance to actually test them. You've got to take all of these things with a pinch of salt. I'm not saying they're lying, I'm just saying that it just needs to be tested further from a neutral perspective, but it does look very promising for Huawei's system on chip. Now you still might be sat there thinking, well, again, what do these numbers mean? And basically what Huawei have looked to do is certainly identify how to improve gaming performance. They have boasted that the Kirin 980 scores around 3,360 on the single core Geekbench. Now, I don't think it quite matches up to Samsung's Exynos 9810, which I think actually surpassed 4,000, but it is very promising nevertheless to even compete with the Snapdragon 845, let alone improve on it. Fasted 4G LT modem inside, and fasted Wi-Fi connection, and also fasted the DRAM support. Now, before we get all excited and think, oh, this is absolutely amazing and of course it is going to be far better than the Snapdragon 845. You've got to remember two things. One, the GPU, the Mali G76 MP10. After some early tests, it doesn't appear to be groundbreakingly necessarily better than the Adreno 630 that you get with the Snapdragon 845. So again, definitely more testing will be needed. And also you've got to remember, and this is probably the biggest point to remember, is that the Snapdragon 845 is already well, you know, it's coming up to nine months old, really, compared to the Kirin 980, which is just being released. And of course, we've got the Snapdragon 855, which is due out fairly soon, certainly by the turn of the year, if not earlier, which we know is going to be another bump up again. So this sort of very aggressive bragging from Huawei may actually come back to bite them in the bum a little bit. Bite them in the bum. Get that bum bitten. No, you've bitten someone's bum. 
No, I don't really think I can continue the video, to be honest, now that we've gone down that route. I can't wait to hear more about the Kirin 980 and test it in certain products, but also I'm excited for the Snapdragon 855 as well. Let me know what you think about Huawei's Kirin SoCs and whether you do think they are as good as their Snapdragon counterparts and Samsung's Exynos as well. Which is your favourite out of the three? Like and share if you did enjoy this video and found it helpful. Subscribe and hit that notification bell if you are new to the channel and want to be notified every time I post a video on anything tech, pretty much daily content on this channel. I love you and leave you. I'll see you in the next one. Take your TP's out.